Have you ever wondered how the story of African-American slavery in the 1600s unfolded? Let's turn back the clock to a time when the world was drastically different from what we know today. It was the early 17th century, a period of exploration, colonization, and sadly, the birth of a dark era. Europeans, in their quest for expansion, first encountered Africans. These meetings, initially marked by curiosity and exchange, took a malicious turn. The year was 1619, when a Dutch ship made its way to the English colony of Jamestown, Virginia. But this wasn't a routine voyage. This ship carried a sinister cargo, 20 enslaved Africans, the first recorded instance of slavery on the continent. These Africans had been uprooted from their homes, their lives forever changed. They were the first in a line that would grow over the centuries, a line of individuals robbed of their freedom and dignity. This marked the beginning of a dark chapter in human history, a chapter that would last for centuries. What led to the commodification of human lives in such an inhumane manner? It's a question that remains chilling even today. Let's delve into the economic factors that set the stage for this grim epic. As Europeans began to colonize the New World, they found themselves in dire need of labor. The vast plantations of cotton, tobacco, and sugarcane required a significant workforce. Indentured servitude couldn't meet this escalating demand. The answer, tragically, was found across the Atlantic and Africa, where a thriving slave trade already existed. European merchants, driven by profit, seized upon this opportunity. They forged alliances with African elites who, motivated by their own economic interests, were willing to sell their fellow Africans into slavery. The result was a deadly triangular commerce, a cycle of exploitation, where human lives were bartered for goods and wealth. Profit and demand, thus, fueled this brutal trade, reducing human beings to mere commodities. Can you imagine what life was like for these enslaved individuals? Picture an existence defined not by freedom, but by the grueling labor that awaited them each day. From dawn till dusk, they toiled in tobacco, cotton, and rice fields, their hands raw and their bodies weary. Their work was not a choice, but a demand, the price they paid for a life they didn't ask for. Stripped of their basic rights, they were treated not as human beings, but as property, commodities to be bought, sold, and exploited at the whim of their slave masters. Their treatment was as brutal as it was relentless. Punishments were severe, and mercy was a luxury rarely afforded. Yet in the face of such unspeakable conditions, they held on to their spirit. They found strength in each other, in their culture, in their shared hopes for a better future. Their lives were marked by hardship and suffering, but they held on to their spirit and resilience. How does this dark past continue to resonate in our present? A question that demands an exploration of the deep-rooted effects of the 16th century African-American slavery. The threads of this grim history are woven into the very fabric of modern America, manifesting as systemic racism, an insidious form that continues to affect African-American communities. The socioeconomic disparities are stark, with the wealth gap between black and white households being a testament to years of racial economic inequality. The legacy of slavery has left a significant portion of the African American population in an ongoing struggle against poverty and discrimination. Cultural trauma, too, remains a profound impact. The collective memory of the atrocities suffered by their ancestors shapes their identity, their perception of the world, and their place in it. The echoes of this dark past continue to reverberate, reminding us of the need for acknowledgement, healing, and justice.